Hello everyone, my name is Martin Bialas, uh, I'm a member of Atavism team and uh, today I'll present you how to adjust your uh, Unity 2019.1 project uh, to work well with Atavism uh, 2019.1 as well. So, let's start. So first thing which we want to do uh, is we want to switch to uh, .NET uh, 3.5 uh, because uh, Unity has some uh, uh, ugly issue with uh, freezing Unity editor uh, with .NET uh, 4.x. So uh, let's uh, switch. We are recommending to basically we are recommending to. Uh, to use uh, .NET 3.5 at this point uh, until Unity will fix some bugs with .NET uh, 4.x. So let's open Edit uh, Project Settings and here in the Project Settings tab window let's uh, navigate to Player and let's switch this uh, scripting runtime version to .NET 3.5. Let's restart Unity. Uh, okay, and after restart, uh, as we are in the uh, player uh, project settings tab, uh, let's switch uh, this color space to linear. It's basically more accurate and more beautiful uh, uh, lighting in Unity. Uh, and for optimization purpose, let's also take this dynamic batching and graphics jobs experimental setting. Uh, we can now close this window um, and uh, next thing which we want to do is we want to use uh, built-in uh, Unity Package Manager so let's click Window, Package Manager and here uh, we will have to do two things first we want to import a post-processing stack so uh, let's use the newest version, uh, there are many previous versions but let's stick with uh, 2.1.6 at this point, let's click install. Uh, and the next thing is, uh, as you can see we have some errors in the console. So these errors are related to Text Mesh Pro, which is by default in Unity 2019.1. Uh, Text Mesh Pro by default is in version 2.0, uh, which requires uh, .NET 4.x. And because we switched uh, back to, to .NET 3.5 at this point, we'll have to downgrade Text Mesh Pro. So let's click on Text Mesh Pro. Uh, let's see all versions and we have, uh, we can select, we can expand this uh, arrow, we can select interesting version uh, and uh, the latest uh, version uh, which is supported by uh, Unity with uh, .NET 3.5 is uh, 1.3.0 so let's click update to this version. And as you can see, uh, there are no errors in the console anymore uh, and we can close this window. Uh, next thing which we have to do uh, is uh, we have to install uh, Text, Mesh, Text Mesh Pro Essentials. Uh, we can do this uh, by heading into Window, uh, Text Mesh Pro and we have to select Import TMP Essential Resources here. So let's click it. Let's uh, import it. And last thing uh, which we have to adjust is uh, Unity layers. So let's click on layers and uh, select edit layers. Let's expand layers. And uh, here we will have to uh, add layer uh, for our Atavism. So basically we are recommending to uh, name it uh, 
to be uh, representative so uh, that you, you could know which layer is for what so we are calling it uh, by default target table uh, and uh, this layer in this layer uh, by default atavism has uh, many objects like mobs uh, uh, npcs and so on so uh, it's recommended to use layer 8 at this point. You can of course adjust it, but uh, it's recommended to keep it that way. At layer 9 we will have to add minimap uh, layer. Uh, it's case sensitive, so keep it that way. Uh, and uh, I like to add atavism texts as another layer. Uh, and this layer is uh, used by uh, uh, can be used by Atavism because it's not set by default. Uh, but you can use this layer to uh, display uh, mob names only and uh, mob uh, subtitles and so on. Basically, texts above uh, mobs, NPCs, etc. And to prevent that this layer would be affected by our post-processing uh, effects, we basically adding another uh, camera in our scene uh, as a child for our main cam camera. So uh, to make our uh, text more natural and more beautiful. But of course it's very optional. So these are necessary steps uh, which we uh, have to do and now we are ready to uh, import our Atavism package. So let's drag our Atavism demo package to our project. And uh, this will take a while so I will speed up the process. Okay, so once uh, the package, Atavism package, uh, will be imported, uh, we can see that we have here a uh, few errors here, but these errors are related to our uh, terrains, uh, and it's because of new Unity terrain. Uh, the indicates, uh, this error indicates that uh, there are some missing uh, objects, missing prefabs, uh, but they will be attached uh, to these uh, terrains, so that's not an issue. So basically these are the settings uh, which we have to do. Uh, and now uh, we can set up Atavism. So uh, let's open a window, Atavism Online. And uh, here we will have to provide uh, database host and database credentials. Uh, for our Atavism server. So uh, by default Atavism comes with uh, predefined uh, users. Uh, if you will use uh, our pre-made virtual machines or uh, Atavism Windows Manager installations, so you can use uh, Atavism uh, and Atavism as a password for uh, remote connections. Uh, let's take this checkbox to propagate settings to other databases and let's basically test. So we can see that our test uh, succeeded and uh, uh, because I'm using a virtual machine, uh, our pre-made virtual machine, you can see that here dots will uh, change their status to, uh, in this case, blue because the server is running. Uh, if you will have uh, red buttons uh, here, then just click Start Restart for your virtual machine. And for Windows Manager, at Atavis Windows Manager, you will have to use uh, controls which are uh, in Atavis Windows Manager directly. So this is all for uh, Atavis Editor. We can close this window. And uh, now we just have to adjust uh, our scene a bit. So let's expand the Dragon Sun scenes. Let's open login scene. And in Atavism Core game object, we'll have to add this uh, uh, 
IP of our Atavism server. Then we will open file build settings and here we will add login as a first first scene and then we will have to add for sure as a requirements uh, uh, we have to add character selection and main world uh, but for uh, arenas we have to add these four scenes and for single player and guild these two so these are all necessary scenes which we have to add to our build settings now we can close it and uh, basically these are all settings we have to do for our uh, unity adjustments and uh, uh, atavism basic adjustments uh, to start uh, to start using it so that's all for this part, thanks for watching, uh, I hope you like it and see you in the next one, bye bye.